Help! Help! I've fallen and I can't get up because I don't know the slope of these stairs. Math alert, please help. Welcome to Math Alert, I'm Grant. How can I take your order? So I use calculus to find the slope of those stairs. Would you like me to teach you how to use calculus? Yes. Awesome. Let's go. Calculus. All right. Calculus is the study of rate of change. Before you take this class, you need to know your parent graphs. On this side of the board, I have your parent graphs, and you need to know them really well. First, you need to know your x graph, x squared, x to the third, square root of x, 1 over x, uh, absolute value of x, whatever that is, ln of x, and e to the x. thing you need to know before you start taking calculus is the unit circle, not the unit A. So you need to know what you need to know about the unit circle is, is that each one of these increments goes uh, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 90 degrees, and all the way around. And it helps you determine um, where cosine and sine is. And cosine is usually the x coordinate and sine is the y coordinate. And then if you come around here, I'll show you some more stuff. So for example, if you had cosine of pi over 6, it would be the square root of 3 over 2. And the sine of pi over 6 would be 1 half. And the tangent of pi over 6 is actually just sine divided by cosine. So 1 half divided by square root of 3 over 2 is actually just the square root of 3 divided by 3. All right. There's two parts to calculus. The first part is derivatives. OK, so you're given a basic equation, f of x, x to the fifth plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 7. All right, to find the derivative, to take the derivative of that, you do this. Um, 5x, x to the fifth becomes 5x to the fourth. And then the next term is 4x. And then this term becomes just 5. And all constants turn into 0. So that is the derivative of that function. Right here, it will take the slope at any point for that equation. Let's talk more about derivatives. So this first equation here is s of t equals 3x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x. Now s of t stands for the position of t. So this graph will tell you the position of, let's say, a car when it's traveling and it's positioned wherever you would plug in for x. And then v of t is the same car, but it would be the, der the derivative would be the velocity at any point. And then if you take the derivative of that again, it would be a of t, which is the acceleration of t. So it would tell you the acceleration at any point, which would be 18x plus 4. And then 
This next one is the derivative of acceleration, which is j of t, which stands for the jerk of t, and that would just be 18. And nobody knows what jerk really means, so that's that. Also, your sine graph, your cosine tangent graph, and cosecant graph, secant, and cotangent graph, you need to know. The next major part of calculus are integrals. Integrals are basically just the area underneath the curve with respect to either the x or y axis. So, Christian, could you please find me from 0 to 1 the area underneath the x squared curve? Yes, sir, it is. All right, what is calculus? With Ken at Walmart here, and do you know what calculus is? It's to the best of my knowledge, calculus is a compilation of mathematical problems. Um, something that has to do with if you want to find out how things work, um, calculus has something to do with that. And we're wondering what calculus is. I think calculus is some type of a math, mm -hmm. but I'm not really sure. I've never taken it. This is? No, no, no! You and Missy at Walmart, and we're wondering what calculus is. Um, calculus is a type of math. <laughs> Here at Walmart with April, and we're wondering what calculus is. <laughs> okay. Well, calculus, I say, is the study of graphs. You know, just kind of tracking rate, change, a little bit of trig in that too. So, all the complicated math you can come up with, pretty much. That's what I say it is. Siri, what is calculus? Think calculus is? Uh, calculus is definitely the ultimate math um, that you are going to use in today's careers you know, to succeed. It's going to be very useful. Um, it's dealing with numbers and, and figurings of things um, that are to be figured, you know, that come up with, with things that um, basically, you know, it's, it's beyond your basic prerequisites of, you know, your, your general learnings. You're stepping into something that's going to take you to the next level, if you if you know it. I'm dead serious. So I'm not, I'm not trying to spook you on calculus, but you'll see that it is the it is the ultimate math. So. I'm a funny person. All right. I'm the hood lady of Greenville County. And the only thing I know about math is one and one is two, two and two is four. All right. What's your name again? Etna. E-D-E-N-A. Right. You want my last name? Oh, uh, no, we're good. That's all we need. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, take a hug with everybody. Okay. All right, that's, Come on, that's you guys. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I need a picture of that. So I'm here with Mr. Martinez, and what do you think calculus is? Um, it's a type of math that lets you um, figure out uh, measurements under a curve or spheres, uh, differential equations. To me, calculus is like a mirror. It helps me see derivatives of graphs. I need patience for calculus, just like you need patience to put on nail polish. This is like a pumpkin seed. It starts off teaching me math that blossoms into a fruit of a pumpkin, which then leads me to a prosperous life. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what problem Mr. Scott's going to give you. Oh, the answer's four. Oh, okay. Is calculus for chemical? Mechanical? Engineering. I plan on using calculus in the future to help you with mechanical engineering. And 
and I'm going to use calculus and all the uh, research scientific stuff. Ooh, here comes a, ooh, ready or not. Heavy headlines.